Hey boys and girls, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. We are back in Pennsylvania. We are in Lewisburg at Lewisburg Antique Mall. You know that I love it. One of my most favorite vendors ever, Ms. Teresa, has a booth here as well as another antique mall. So I'm excited to get back in here. I am taking a peek. I'm seeing a bunch of Easter's, bunnies, and chicks. So let's get inside and see what we can find. Here we go. Ways they are set up for the seasons and the holidays. We've got closed on Easter Sunday. Good for you. Here we go. Been here before. So Teresa is set up here. Teresa pretty much has this entire. She isn't pretty much. She does have this entire section. So, uh oh, brown bunnies. I was just talking to somebody about these. These are ten dollars. We'll probably get both of those. Rudely cut off by a software update. Four-footed friends in linen. Oh, it's McLaughlin Brothers. Faithful Carlo. Getting that cane. The mare and her coal. Oh, got some loose pages. This is just the stapled one now, so... Overall, good condition. That one is uh, 16. We do have some stick pins slash hair pins. This one's pretty. That's at eight. The pink here. I'm gonna hold, oh, look at Annie and Sandy. It's a hard knocks life. And got a basket and put the brown bunnies in there because who am I kidding? We do have more of the left and chicks. I, we didn't get this one. This one's different. It's 10. I'm going to get that. The chicks are a little bit harder to get in my experience. Um, I'm really digging this particular one. So I'll get another one. We'll get both. Let's enter into another part of Miss Teresa's. Annalie Bunny, we've got some Gobel Birds. The Canary is pretty. I've actually never seen the Gobel Canary. $10, I'm gonna get the Canary. I'm gonna hold off on the Finches and the Bluebird. These I've seen, I've sold before, but I've never seen the yellow one before. So I'm digging that. Some pretty hair receivers. Ooh, I love this painted porcelain here. This looks like it's a combination of a transfer and hand painting. Yeah, we can see the dots in there. The gold, the floral enamel on there. That's pretty. That one's $10. I'm really not mad at it. Um, I'm going to hold off on it. Oh my god, I thought that was bittersweet at first. It's ceramic. <laughs> I was like, wow. Look at Rumple back here. <gasps> Jesus, Mary. Is with me of late. Exactly. Five dollars. Fifties. Somebody colored that page in. And that page. Oh, 38. Ugh. They really went to town in there. That's too bad. Darn it. Look at these. These column bases. They're 29 architecture. Holy Moses. What is that made out of? I don't know. It looks like it's a log, but that thing is insane. 29. That's cool. Giving us all the spring vibes. Go ahead. These look like left in two. Lots of cranberry, a little Roseville over here. 45. Ooh, look at this poodle. She's had a life. <laughs> oh goodness. 
Um, let's go over here. Oh, look at the dove. That one's pretty. Ooh, I like these bookends. I love, like, the three-dimensional on that. Of course, we have the other one. That's pretty. 25 for the set. There's Milky, the Rempel. A little planter. That would be cute if you turned it into a pin cushion. $8 on that. I'm going to set it aside. I've sold so many of them that I'm just kind of like, meh. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Um, we do, of course, have our vintage apparel. All of the kids. It's so cool. Uh, I found some deals in here before. Let's see if we can find any today. Let's set that basket down. Um, okay, not today. Dreads. Okay, do we have anything over here for us today? Vaseline and tidbit tray. Mm. Ooh, I do like that. Though at 98, we're gonna have to hold off from it. Um. Didn't see anything else there for us. Some LG right there. The hunting scene. This is pretty. I like that set. 18 for this set. Very deco. Don't know that this one would actually glow though. Oh, you see, it's almost like, it's got a little bit of a combination of Greek revival and an art deco vibe going on to it. Is there a chip there? No, it's just the divot. A basket. I don't think that would glow. Could be wrong. We're not wrong on that one today. Um, let's see here. That's pretty. I like this, but it's damaged. Okay, let's see what else we can find. The lava tree, that one's at 325. Clearly just done in white. What I really like is when they do like the drips of gold at night. Oh my word. It's pretty amazing and special. Let's see if we've got anything over here for us to die. 15, a candle. Um, oh gosh, look at that rooster. There is a massive jar of buttons. Oh my gosh, hold on. I don't know, I just don't know enough about buttons. Is it worth it or is it not? I don't see anything that's like, whoa, super cool. So I'm gonna hold off on it. But if you're in the area, they're there waiting for you. Okay, I think we'll move on from here. Look at there. A little mini mosaic. And it's only $9. Are all the stones in it? 
I'm not on frame. All of this time, nine dollars? Okay, we'll get that, no problem. There's more who's it's. We just got her, I'm loving him. Nine dollars? I'm really digging him, he's hilarious. So let's pick him up too. Look, where we just got our micro mosaic, it also is 20% off. Purses, clothing, hat, shoes, and jewelry. Well then, let's get up close and personal, shall we? These ones are a little bit more pricey. That's okay. Ooh, look at that one. That one's 32. Grapes. Can't tell. Hmm. It's definitely a pin. Oh, there's a coin purse. Bit plain. Bit plain. I saw this. It's a baby book. It's literally how to take care of your baby. We've got the etude. It's it's a musical magazine. Um, I see this wink and blink and a nod. Unfortunately, it is just tore up. Um... Is it... Is that needle craft or is it woman's whoa? Okay, hold on. So it is needlework in color, but we do have a cosmopolitan back here. It's hard to believe that some of these magazines have been around for so long. February 1925. Mm. I mean, this is at $19. Maybe if it were in a little bit better condition. It's not horrible, but I'm gonna hold off on it. Look at all the blow molds. We're not doing it, but I thought that it was cool. I wanted to get that on camera. Fun to see. Well, I mean, we do have some things. I'm not doing the best. Um, I like this booth. It's got great things. It's just hard for me to get anything out of there for resale, which, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to try some other booths here. Hopefully we have better luck. Fingers are crossed. We're going to whoosh whoosh down into this part, the antique mall. Let's see if we can find anything over here. Mm -hmm. Keeping in mind, of course, we're looking for resale. Always an adventure. Mm -hmm. Rugs and Tobies. Beer steins are 10. Not the vibe we're going for, though. Let's see if we find anything in here. No. There's a 50% off sale. It says these bookcases only, so we have these two with which to choose from. I just am not seeing I do see this Volkscraft pie bird. So it's $12 new in packaging, which quite frankly, isn't really that bad. See down there, a little pedestal candy dish. That's a cutie. Ah, oh, dang it, how much is that? Do they have $28 on that? Yeah, twenty-eight fifty. Darn. Ooh, I like this. It's got a great Art Deco vibe to it. Do I see a chip? No, I don't. I'm wondering if it's an actual crystal. At eight dollars. I'm gonna get that at eight. I love that look. Look at that. 
That's great. Okay. In the basket you go. Okay, see a little Sesame Street action. Now this is a later one. It's not the original OG Fisher Price. I believe these figurines were a little bit larger. There's Oscar. Look at 80s or 90s. Uh, 2010. Jeez. Shameful that that seems so much longer ago. <laughs> uh, lots of figurines. I've had this Otagiri music box before. I like this. It matches those, um, the, oh, I wonder if those bookends weren't Otagiri also. This one's at 20. I love the color palette in that, that being a little bit more muted. Uh, there's definitely a lot to see in here. So we need to take our time. But I don't, I'm not seeing anything for us. So precious. Okay, here's what we've got. Um, I'm going to double back and make sure that I'm not missing anything. Look at all the Easter. Just to be sure. Oh, I like her. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Some Roseville Freesia. I love this. It's 30. There is a chip right there. But honestly, okay, so the chip is on the two. I mean, you know, this is a really good example of, this is a great introductory piece um, at $30. It does have the one condition issue. I actually quite frankly prefer it with just the white and the green versus having it with the purple. It's right there. So again, that's subjective. Vendor definitely priced it exceptionally. I mean, that is just really pretty. I just, <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm like, do I get it with Um, I'm all, we're debating. Is this one cut? No, this one's molded. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> this is me. Oh, ah, okay. That is scaring me, that hairline running across. All right. Well, I'm glad we saw that. Oh. I don't want to ship it. I think for the right collector at 30, that's fine. If you're not going to ship it, I just get a little nervous about shipping it. <sighs> These are pretty groovy. Look at the colors on this. Friction car. Another shilling. These are made in Shanghai. We have some Viking. Oh, it does have a sticker. The avocado. This is part of their epic drape line. I like, let me set it down. Give me a better. I like this pull here on the back. This one's 22, which honestly is not that bad. I think I'm going to hold off on it though. I am being so like ugh, about prices anymore, but I feel like you have to be. This one's available. I mean, it's clearly not going to be identical. It's the same. It's avocado epic drape and a little uh, console bowl here, but somebody has it at 31. You know, you think it's really important. Um, to make sure, for me, it's really important to make sure that I get things um, without expectation of people paying necessarily over. I know that sometimes, I'm sure there are many times, people could probably point to specific items in which during an auction something has sold over for what it would typically retail uh, for. I have been guilty of participating in that myself. Um, but it's one thing to kind of make the purchase with that expectation. I just, that scares me, um, so I typically don't do that. Is that Rio 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 Hondo back there? It sure does. These are huge. 22. 
honestly, that's really not bad. For real Hondo this size, I've never had real Hondo this size. I would prefer to, you know, spend a few dollars less, truth be told. But I've never. Okay, I'm gonna add in the basket. We are back at Teresa's booth. We do have some snow babies here in Easter and eight dollars. I know that there is still a love. I think it's one of those things. It's the nostalgia of it. It's a nice sized piece. So at eight dollars, I don't think we can go wrong. We do have some other. One. Look at him playing the triangle. This one, this is loose. It somehow got knocked out. Oh my god! Look at the one trying to catch the butterfly. Okay, we'll get that one. Look at it. it's got the little butterfly. Okay, let's get him. I need to chill because look, this one's jumping rope and it's all caught six dollars. I think they're sweethearts. Ding ding ding. Okay, fine. Y'all stop it. Spring has sprung. Ooh, look at these things. Oh, these are ceramic. I thought they were marble. Darn. Ah. I believe I missed this coming in. This is actually on a stand. That one's at 55. That's fabulous. Look at the condition on that. That's neat. All right, we got a, bo a, a box it full, a basket full of spring. I'm going to go check out and we'll do our wrap up outside. Alrighty there, alrighty, alrighty guys, there you have today's Shop With Me video. I hope that you enjoyed. We got some small but I think mighty treasures that will definitely add to a spring Easter vibe sale. Um, listen, judge me if you want for the snow bunnies, but I think they are stinking cute, especially the three that we got. As always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find or finds of the day was. The item or items you wished I had most picked up, either works, you know that I would appreciate it. Don't forget, if you've made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate that too. And as always, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.